and welcome back to stylish Nigeria youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a pair neckline handkerchief and peplum blouse this um style is um it's not it's really when you see it it looks a little bit complicated but it's nothing really because i'm going to be making it as simple and detailed as possible so before i continue i just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers the old subscribers i really appreciate you guys your support towards my channel and then if you are new you are highly and very welcome please subscribe before you leave and then hit on the notification bell just beside to get an update whenever i upload a new video if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button just give it a thumbs up so today i posted on um, a couple of um, weeks ago i posted a video on my channel how to do the shoulder dart and bustier um, pattern so this is the pattern that's what i'm going to be using for the top part of my body today so i'm going to be cutting out the top part of the peplum with this and then later i'll cut out the handkerchief flesh so i'm just going to fold my fabric and then place and then cut out so i'm going to drop the link on how to cut this i'll drop it down so you could watch it so guys i've finished and um, cutting out but if you notice notice from the picture that i showed you earlier in order for me to cut out uh, the neckline i need to couple i need to join the front piece together first because you can see the neckline is a little bit and trickish but i won't be able to cut it out because i need a part of the one part of the shoulder to go out with the neckline so i'm going to go ahead and iron and then cut and then couple the front piece together and then bring it back and cut out the show you how to cut out the that neck line so welcome back guys so i finished and coupling the front piece of uh, the top part of this um, blouse you know i remember i told you i used the the neck and the shoulder that and bustier method so if you have not seen the video uh, the link is on the description box so you could click it and just watch it so you understand what we are doing so in order to cut out the neck line the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut out on the back neckline i'm, I'm going to use at uh, the regular width of three inches on um, width and then three inches depth that's what i'm using for the back neckline 3.5 inches width and three inches depth so i've already done that so i'm just going to explain it to you the width of the back this is the back neckline so the width i used on three I use 3.5 inches so this is 3.5 inches which starts from here to here and then the depth I use 3 inches so it's just a regular neckline so I just cut it out so that's that so I'm just going to keep it is the front neckline that's where the emphasis is so for the ne front neckline all I'm going to do I'm just going to fold my the blouse that's the top part together and then I'll measure the same 3.5 inches that I used for the back so this is the 3.5 inches um, width and then the depth so this you could determine how deep you actually want your neckline to be so i'm making use of six inches so this is the six inches depth so and on this 3.5 inches part i put a notch here just to really guide me as an indication so i'm going to leave it i'm not cutting it out yet i want to measure out the shoulder measurement first before i continue so i'm just going to I'm just going to place it like this and then i'll measure out the shoulder measurement and the shoulder measurement that i'm using for this um blouse is actually 13 inches so this is like my 13 inches and then i'll add one inch or half inch that i'm going to use to stitch the sleeve to it so that's just it so i'm from this point now just measure out the armhole point and then i'm just going to curve it out so you could decide to make use of your pattern curve to do that you know the back hole arm hole and the front arm hole they are not the same so the next thing i'm going to measure out now measure out the waist of my blouse so you use your own measurement and you divide it into four and then you measure out the bust also the bust is 36 this is 36 inches and then Two inches allowance and then one inch that i'm trimming up so i just want to get the blouse straightened out before i continue so i'm not cutting on the actual line because i don't want to cut the back armhole and the front armhole together so that's that so the next thing i'm going to be doing my shoulder slope 
so for the shoulder slope i'm just going to come down a bit from this point and then i'm going to slant it i'm just going to slant it to this to the next line point before i continue So I've done that now, so it will be much more easier now for you to understand. So I'm just going to keep the back piece on the side. So I have my, my blouse almost shaped out. So this is on the inch that I put. That's the, the neckline. 3.5 inches neckline point. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to determine um, how long i want it and you know initially when we started i said i'm going to use six inches so that's what this mark so i'm just going to come down from this point here where i put the notch i'll use my chalk so you see it properly where i put my 3.5 inches notch for the neckline i'm just going to come down to that six inches so i'm going to mark the six inches on this point if you feel six inches is too long you might have to reduce it. So I'm just going to measure, I'm just going to make it the straight row line to six inches on all the points. So I'm making the six inches so you could see it, the six inches. So I have a straight line for my six inches neckline. And so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to create like a V. So this is the center. So this is the center of the neckline. So I'm just going to put a line here for you to see it. Because me, I can see it from here because of the folded end. But this is the center of the neckline and that's the middle of the blouse. So from this point, I'm going to be making, creating a V to this point, to this point, because this is my six inches. So I'm just going to take my ruler like this and then I'm going to create a V like this to this point. So this is the six inches neckline. And if you notice, the V is not like a sharp V. So I'm going to just use my pattern curve. So I'm just going to use like my pattern curve to like curve it a little bit. It's not like it is a straight and V because this is a PN neckline. So I'm just going to curve it a little bit. So you can see what I have now. So I have like a curve like this. It's like a curved V. So that's the curved V. That's for one side. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be creating another curve to this point. But this you determine how high you actually want that um for the pointer on the neckline, how high you want it to be. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm just going to come to this um point like this. I'm just going to come to this point. I'm going to measure from this point. I'm going to make use of two inches depth. So I'm going to create like a curve. So I just want you to see what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to create like a curve from this point like this to join to this um, part. I'll create a curve like this. So I'm going to just use my pattern curve like this to create it. This is a straight V and then this one is curving like this to join this point. So you can see what I have. This side is like straight. It's like it's like slanted straight and why this side is curved. And when it gets to this point like this, you will determine, like I said, I, I used on two inches. So I'm just going to I'm just going to create it a little bit up like this. Just like, just to create, so I hope you could see it properly. I'm just going to just extend it a bit so you could see this is just like the neckline. So the next thing I'm going to do now, from this point, I'm going to create a slant from this point. I'll create it to the armhole point. So in creating it to the armhole point, you determine how deep you want it to be on the armhole side. So for this... If you are using a regular armhole of uh, about 8 inches, so I advise maybe you could do between like um, 2 to 3 inches, depends on how wide you actually want it to be. So I'll do 3 inches for this. 
So from this point, I'm just going to be creating a slant from here to this point. Because I'm going to be cutting out everything that I have here. I'm going to be cutting it out. So this is, so you can see what I now have here. So I'm just going to cut, cut it out like this. And then cut this out like this for the neckline. So I'm just going to start from this point like this. So in order not to, okay, I guess it's okay. I'm just going to. So for this point now, you are going to determine how big you want it to be because we are going to be sewing and be turning. So I'm just going to add like half an inch to it or one inch so I'll be able to to get um so I'll be able to get a chunk on this point. So that's just the, like the essence. So you could decide to put one inch. So I'm just going to do it like this. So I'll be able to sew it and turn it and then get out that design. So you can see what I have. So you can see what I have for the neckline. So this side, I'm just going to blend it properly. I'm going to blend it properly. So guys, so this is the neckline. So the next thing you are going to do now is just for you to turn with your lining. And in turning with your lining, you just uh, sew the neckline part, sew it up to this point, and then you sew like this. So when you are done, you just push out this part. And then you have that curve and then I'll come back and continue so I'm just going to do that now so guys welcome back so I finished I'm um, folding the neckline so you could see what I have I'm just going to show you before I continue so I have it all round up so the next thing I'm going to do now the back piece what I'm going to do with the back part I'm going to measure I'm going to trim out the back neckline also because this side is going to be an off shoulder why this side will have the shoulder part so i would have done that you could do that before you you sew and turn or you could just decide to place the wrong side of the front on the right side of the uh, sorry you place the right the wrong side of the front facing together with the wrong side of the back before cutting or else if you don't cut it that way you are going to mix miss it up so I'm just going to place it like this and then making sure that the armhole point is the same and then I'm just going to trim it out like this. So I've cut out the back part now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to sew the back and then turn it with my lining and then take out the measurement that's join the side seam and then I'll come back and cut out the back now. Okay guys, so you can see, so I finished and coupling joining the sides the side seam of my of the top so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to trim out the armhole so and in trimming the armhole you just fold it like this into two and then making sure that it is straight you have the middle and neckline because this side is not proportional again so you have to check it properly so you measure out on the shoulder measurement and then you trim out the armhole. guys i finished and trimming out on the armhole so the next thing i'm just going to do now i'm going to cut out on the peplum the, the handkerchief peplum and in cutting out the handkerchief pe peplum the radius of um this the circle that i'm going to be cutting is not really going to be a circle this part is the radius for those of you that don't know that's the waist measurement that's the radius so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to fold and just explain as i fold so I'll fold my fabric. The first thing you do, you subtract how many inches you have here. That is what will determine how, how much uh, of the length you are going to cut out. So what I actually have here, I'm going to be using 14 inches for the top. So I'll subtract it from here. 
and the full uh, length of my blouse the full length of the blouse is actually um, 23 inches yeah it's 23 inches so I'm going to cut out 10 inches because I already have 13 here I'll cut out 10 inches from this so I'm just going to fold like this and check it out first and then since I'm going to be pleating the handkerchief flare the circumference is actually sorry the radius is actually at 30 inches like I told you so I'm going to add 8 inches because I'm going to be doing a kiss doing kiss split on the four edges so I'm adding to 2 inches for the kiss split that makes it 38 and then 2 inches for stitching so I'll have 40 inches so when I divide 40 that's now I now have 40 so instead of this regular 30 inches I'm using 40 inches 40 inches when you divide 40 inches by your um, formula for calculating your peplum which I have on my channel you could check it out how to cut different types of peplum you divide 40 inches by 6.28 you actually have 6.3 so that means what I'm going to be using now is the radius of my circle is going to be 6.3 so I hope you understood what I said I'm just going to try and go over it again I said um, that this um, part which is the, the radius that's the waist measurement is actually 30 inches so I'm adding two two inches because it has key split so I'll add two two inches for the four key splits that it has so and it will give me 38 inches and then I'll add two inches to it that makes it all sum it up to 40 inches so what I'm going to cut out now I'm going to cut out a circle that the waist is going to be 40 inches and for me to know how to cut it out I'm going to use the formula of the of dividing a circle which is 6.2 it's to divide the 40 inches that I have so at the end of the day I came up with 6.3 so what I'm going to be cutting out from this point is going to be 6.3 that's the length that's when I measure and cut out I'll cut out 6.3 so that will now help me to split it in properly and then the length like i said i said i'm making use of 10 inches so i'm just going to measure and check so i'm just going to do that out now before i cut out okay guys so welcome back like i said i'm not um this is the regular round um peplum that's the regular one that you know how to create so this is where you start in creating the handkerchief um, peplum this is where you start when you create your regular round peplum which i have tons of video on my channel so that's why i didn't bother showing it so you could watch that for now except the beginners you should know how to create your regular peplum so i've created it out this is the radius and then this is the circumference so i've created it so in creating out the handkerchief flare from this the only thing that you need to do is really simple and easy because from this point to this point i used on 13 inches and then from this point to this point i used 13 inches that that i used in creating out my and the circumference so after creating it out the only thing that you need to do now is you just come to this unfolded and where your fabric is open and where it is joined together this 13 inches that you use so it depends on the inch that you are using your yours could be 9 it could be 10 so you just um, repeat the 13 inches from this point so I have 13 inches now so this is like my 13 inches now on this spot and then I'll come to this other folded side also and then I'll create my 13 inches so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to use uh, my ruler to connect it like a straight line i'm connecting the two together i'm connecting this so ignore just ignore this other line so this is this first one that i'm working with and then i will now create the same straight line of the 13 inches on this line also so this is now what i'm going to be cutting out now so i'm not cutting out I'm not cutting out this round one but i'm cutting out this square one so i'm just i just want you to see it properly so you start by creating the round the regular round peplum and then from the folded end what you the measurement that you used before for the entire length you repeat it on this side and then you repeat it on the folded end and then you cut out so this is how you create the handkerchief or triangular flare so you could see
so i've created it out so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut out the radius now i'm just going to trim it and then i'm going to cut this part out so when i open it this is what i have so it looks funny right so all you have to do you just take it like this and then you turn it like this so guys so you could see you see our triangle it's looking so beautiful right so that's just how simple and easy it is so now we're going to be putting it here and then i'm going to be pleating so you could see it's already peplum is already standing so beautifully well so i'm just going to be pleating this part you could start to pleat just the front so it depends on the measurement that you're using so i'm just going to do that and then for the sleeve for the sleeve what i'm going to do for this i'm not going to be and creating that and uh, this regular the sleeve that you have on the picture there i'm going to be leaving mine i'm going to be leaving here as a sleeveless and then i'm going to be putting the pencil sleeve on this other side so that's what i'm just going to do so, so guys i'll go ahead and fix the peplum now and then come back and show you how to fix the sleeve okay so guys we'll come back so as you see we're almost done with our blouse so the only thing that is remaining now is the sleeve and i'm going to show you the easiest way to achieve this sleeve in achieving the sleeve all you have to do is you come to the other side of your sleeve that has the shoulder and then you measure how much your sleeve your round armhole that's your round armhole you measure it and for this i'm going to be making use of nine so what i have here is nine inches and then you cut out a sleeve of a ham o of nine inches or so after cutting it out because you are going to measure measure this point and see what you have so i have six inches here so when you cut out a sleeve of nine inches all you have to do is when you place when you're fixing you're going to fix it and then at the end of the day you're going to have three inches so that three inches now will now serve as your shoulder that is going to match up with this other shoulder so that is why you need to use the same round armhole measurement for it so it's going to so you are going to fix it so in fixing this you are just going to use the regular method to fix this so i'm going to drop a link down of uh, a video that i have on my channel how to cut a bust here that with a re with regular sleeve so you are going to watch that video and then you, you understand what i'm trying to explain to you so it's really easy so all you have to do is you just fix and then at the end of the day the three inches that is left here will serve as the shoulder a measurement it will serve as the shoulder balance for it so when you fix when you put it on it balances well so i'm just going to go ahead and cut the sleeve and then i'll fix it just the way i've explained to you and then come back and show you the final look okay guys so welcome back so you can see i'm almost done with this um, top with this peplum top the only thing that is remaining is just for me to use the bias binding just to bind the sleeve i told you that this side i'm going to be leaving this side like this so at the end of the day i just use uh, some applique just to put uh, some design on it just to make it look beautiful so you could see what i'm talking about so this is the sleeve so my mannequin and shoulder um, measurement is a little bit smaller so that is why it's coming out like this so you could see the back you could see the way the back is it's really uh, looking beautiful so that's it guys so this is the handkerchief so i'm done with uh, this um, video so if you actually find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and subscribe and you you guys should keep uh, sending in your video this one was actually sent by a subscriber for me to illustrate so keep sending so thank you so much for watching and bye i'll see you in my next video bye god bless you